tell us like how, how it all started for you, how development, how, how it all started for you, the interest and all. You know, led back as a 2016 when I had no job, you know, my company had folded. You had uh, no job? Yeah, I had no job. At nights where I cried, you know, I had yeah. nights where I felt like, man, you know, giving up and all that. Yeah. But sometimes it's not how hard you get hit, it's how you get back to your feet and then you just keep moving. It was at that time I forayed into real estate, you know. I started uh, from, you know, letting, selling, selling, and then developing, and then we're here. You're in your early 30s, so you're doing all of this. You lost your job, you got the job, and you're developing. Everything is happening, like, really fast for you. I'm grateful to God. I've <laughs> had my own share of challenges. <laughs> family welcome back to the channel today I'm actually with mr. Eddie um, if you actually follow my channel and watch my videos you're going to see a video we did together and you know today he had to call me up because he has something very interesting to uh, to show me so he's gonna tell us where we're going to but while we are on this drive I'm gonna ask you like you're one of the few developers you know, in, in Lagos that come up with very contemporary, different building, right? That's been built to last. You know, when you drive up on the street, one can easily identify which building is yours and which is for the other people, you know? How have you been able to, you know, maintain such reputation? First of all, we, we had a vision when we came into this uh, industry. Yeah. We wanted to create, make luxury affordable, you mm. know, and uh, give people a unique sense of, uh, of, of, of belonging. Yeah. When you go around in the real estate, you see people just replicate buildings and yeah. all that. I didn't, yeah. I didn't like that. So I wanted to always, so for each property that I want to build, yeah. I do a specific design for them. I don't care how much it costs. Yeah. I want each owner of the property to feel as if this design was met, meant for me. Yeah. So it's like them probably giving me money from inception to say, build this for me. So that's what it is. Yeah, so we're actually at, this is Prom Vertex 3. Three. Three. Prom Vertex 3. All right, so um, let's, let's go inside and see what kind of affordable luxury you're building. <laughs> All You'll right. be impressed if you will be. <laughs> All right. Wow, wow, wow. This is, uh, this is what's, what's the name of the estate and how many units are there in here? It's West Ham Beach Estate. Yeah. We have uh, two fully detached, five yeah. bedroom fully detached, yeah. and then four units of four bedrooms semi detached. Okay, so I mean, stepping in, there, there, there are actually two things I want to talk about. First is that I see, I see you have a space for, uh, for plants. So I know in the coming months, this is going to get really big and, mm -hmm. you know, people always comment, developers that actually keep allocated places for green areas. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is, I noticed this is the, this is the ground level for the property. And then it's like you're climbing the staircase to, um, what, what work did you do here concerned? Like how, 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 how why, why is this though? Well, you, you know, you know the issue we have with, uh, with the country, drainage systems and all that yeah. gets flooded yeah. you know, and all that. So we developers, you know, we think about the future. We had to uh, fill the land. We do a lot of filling first yeah. before so we start gutter, construction. Deep gutter here. Yeah, it's very deep. Yeah. So to do a lot of filling before we start construction, so yeah. that to prevent any future, anyhow flood yeah. that want to mistakenly sneak into your house. It's going this to come one, out. Yeah, right. no, no, it prevents it. So nothing comes in. Nothing comes it only out. Goes it only goes out. out. Yes. Okay. So you can even see the level of the entrance. You have three steps, you know, Higher. entering the house. So that yeah. tells you the kind of level the, the filling we did here. So these properties are still available for sale, right? Yes, technically. This what's the asking price for this? It's one ninety accent. One uh, one ninety for yes, this. Yes, but you, Steve, yeah. if you give me someone that wants to pay for this tomorrow, yeah, I'll give them a good discount. Okay. Because it's coming from you. Okay, you guys have heard it right from the horse's mouth. So if you want to get this property, I'm going to put the contact uh, information below. Call up, he's going to give me a discount. I'll actually ask him what discount is, and I'll, I'll sneak and tell you guys. So <laughs> reach out to me. Let's 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 buy this. I mean, if you like it, we're going to go on a tour shortly to see how, you know, it looks. So, um, yeah, it looks, it, looks, it looks very, very nice. How many rooms, what, what, what does it come with? Uh, it's, it's a five bedroom yeah. uh, with BQ. It comes with a uh, nice kitchen. Yeah. Uh, it comes with uh, modern lighting systems. And then it gives, we actually left room for smart, you know, smart system and all that, smart yeah. speakers and all okay. that. Then there's something we did with the, this particular design. Mm. We connected the living room 
upstairs with the, mas the master's bedroom. So you can come out from your uh, 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 living room yeah. and then go right into the master's. Wow. So you can have your friends probably just chill with chill, you there yeah. and then, you know. So it, it, it makes things very easy. There's a lot of connectivity that has that to happens be there. Okay. Yes. All right. So how many square meters is this particular unit? It's on? 400 square meters. 400 square meters. Yes. Okay. So I can see like, um, let's say three vehicles can park conveniently in here. No, uh, four. Four vehicles can park yes. in here. Okay, so you have your security quarters over there. There's a BQ for this unit, right? There's a BQ, of course. Okay, how about we go to this property now? Okay. All right, All right, let's go. I know you have this thing for very big, gigantic doors, but uh, is there something very, is there something unique we should know about this door? Uh, well, they are security doors yeah. and uh, they're locally made. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. So, thank God you pointed <laughs> this out because when I go ahead and tour properties, people are always concerned, oh, you bought from Turkey, you bought from Spain. You bought. So, I want to ask you for a ratio of like locally sourced materials versus imported. Like, how many percent of locally sourced materials did you get? I'm very particular about that. And then, how many percent sourced? Well, like you bought from the abroad or something. Well, the truth is that, you know, we don't manufacture a lot of things here. So yeah. most of the things we use, you know, especially the electricals, you know, um, like the flower plants, yeah. for instance, the pots, I mean, uh, plant, the pots locally made, the plant is, okay. you know, Important. and then the towels, you know, m a lot of them, you know, we, we bring them in. So yeah. I would say a ratio of maybe uh, 60 to 40. Like 60 imported. Yes, because this, this uh, cement is here. Yeah, sand is here. Granite is here. Paint. This How about is lighting the wooden door is here. Lighting features. No, we we bring them in. Yeah, we bring them in. We bring our lighting features in. We bring our tiles in. Yeah. and uh, the toilets, fittings, and all that. We bring those ones in. But so is it that is it that you have not seen people that locally produce? Because I, I heard that there's a tiles manu manufacturing company in Ibadan. Is it that you've not seen uh, something that meets to your taste yet? Well, it's, it's, it's acceptance, you know. Yeah, people come to your house and they want to know. These styles, for instance, are Spanish yeah. styles. When I yeah. tell you the styles is, you know, a certain brand, yeah. you'd wonder why, you know, I had used it. But if we say Spanish, you know, people know Spanish, they know the quality, so they, they want to associate with it. Yeah. So, but for now, this is how we're structuring. Uh, once we're able, we're able to develop a relationship, a new relationship with locally, uh, um, local manufacturers and yeah. all that, that yeah. with high quality, towels then we would switch okay. where we, we try to encourage because there's a lot of un unemployment in the country so yeah. what we developers do in in a way is that we reduce the unemployment we have lots of people working for us we have lots of suppliers supplying us yeah and but by that they're able to feed their families so, and all okay. that okay so all right fair enough so as soon as we have more people producing life fixtures and all of these things that can stand the test of time you're open to you know patronizing nigeria yes, brand, yes, yeah? yes 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 all right i think we should go in right now all right Welcome to the living room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's just, your, your houses usually have this theme and, you know, I, I, I like the fact that the, the staircase is, is facing the entrance, you know, but I wish it had this automated light. That would have made more sense, you know, but well, I, lo I love it. We, we, tried, we tried to change, add a few things and yeah. then just try to see what the market says and all of that. So, so, I mean, looking at this house, I would say someone like a middle class person, is it, like that was the person you had in mind yes. when you were designing mm -hmm. this property. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what do we have on this floor? Uh, so on this floor, we have uh, the living room. We have okay. the dining is supposed to sit there. Somewhere here. Uh, yeah, so then you have the... The guest uh, visitor's toilet, visitor's toilet there. over there. Okay. You have the guest room here. Uh, the guest room is over here. Oh, okay. The this is a, is a decent there. size. You yeah. see this property is sitting on a four hundred. And yeah, <laughs> come on, man. This is uh, this is lovely actually. So you, we have here. We're still gonna have like a glass door. A glass door. Okay. So we have uh, a the, pantry. Uh, no, this is not a pantry. This is a washing uh, machine. This area. is a washing machine. Okay. The pantry is this way. Yeah. Uh, so we have you know, the microwave, microwave oven, washer, uh, and then the burner and all that. It's okay. all here. Uh, we're just it's, we're just it's rounding off. There's just going to be a bridge here, right here. Okay. So we're just we're just rounding off and all that. Uh, so give or take uh, next week. Next we week. Have everything, have everything ready. Already, yes. Okay. So it comes with an extractor. Yep, yeah, the extractor, the burner. Mm -hmm. Does it come with the fridge that you want to install here? Uh, not necessarily, but we can we can we can add that. Can so add it's that. not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and there's something we did. I was supposed to have used uh, glass for the staircase. Yeah. Uh, but I decided to use railings uh, from personal experience. I realized that a lot of young people, because I had young people in mind when I was doing this, they have young kids, you know. So when they want to climb, they want to hold something while climbing. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. so if you use glass, it's, yeah. it's a bit more difficult for them to, 
to, to, to, to climb, you know? Uh, so I, I feel this is very functional for those people who have children. Yeah. yeah. All right. For us that don't have children. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I know that putting like uh, a, a very huge chandelier would do some massive work in this space, you know? Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we have chandelier, would have that done, would have done that today, but yeah. uh, because of this shoot, yeah. we postponed it. Uh, so even the lighting here too has been, uh, it's not working yet. So we'll, yeah. we'll have that done this week. Done. Okay. Maximum next week, everything is set. All right. So this leads us into the family lounge. Yes. Okay. Um, I know the last time I asked you if this was tiles, you said no, so this is a... It's a stucco painting. So we yeah. have the stucco painting here. It looks like tiles. It looks yeah. like marble. Yeah. You know, and then we also have it here too. It's very smooth. It's steam proof. Yeah. Okay. And it's steam proof and all that. All, I, all you have to do is just clean and uh, it's all neat again. Okay. You know, so uh, we're designing this space and even here, this is what I was telling you about. Yeah. You know, we have this balcony that leads all the way into, know, the, to, master into the masters, bedroom. you yeah. know. So I feel like this is really cool, right? Yeah. You know, oh, so okay. So from the family lounge, you can yeah. get into the masters. Into the masters, yes. And if you don't want to go into the masters, you can just have friends, you know, just sit down here and yeah. then have a drink and, you know, just look around, you know? All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's see what the master's bedroom looks like. Wow. Lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Um, for a property sitting on 400 square meters, I mean, this is, you have a working closet still. I think you have the thing for working closets because all your properties always, so they always have a working closet, you know? Well, I, I don't know how people build, like, you build and your, your wardrobe is just exposed, you yeah. know, just facing the, 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 yeah. the room like that. You know, I like it just in a corner. It gives you some level of privacy and privacy, all that. Privacy, right? So okay. We still have a few finishing to do here, some lights to introduce and, yeah. and all, so, exactly. but... Uh, it's 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 it's, it's, it's okay lovely. for the size of the house. You know? All right. Let's. Uh, so you already have outlets for split units and yes. cable. Also speakers. You know, sound speakers and all that. Yeah. We we'll have that installed also. Uh, okay. So this have is the, the yeah. You have a standing shower and. I have a standing shower. Yeah. Okay. Very spacious. You know, you can okay. take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take. take two people. You can take two people and the children. <laughs> and the child <laughs> as well. Okay. Yeah. So do you have plans of? Installing and yeah, what you call we're, it? Installing, yes, we're installing the wash hand basin here. Yeah. Uh, careful, careful. Okay. So, and all, the this, all the sanitary so, wares will be installed. The last so. time you talked about why you like black WC, so I didn't, why do you use I white? change the concept here. If you notice, it's all white. It's all white. <laughs> Tell us, like, what other projects you have going on? Basically, uh, do you have, like, off plan projects as well that people can key into? Because most people might not be able to afford a finished product. They want to invest at an early stage that will be a bit cheaper for them. Uh, well, we have, uh, we have different projects for this 2022. Yeah. Uh, the ones that are immediate now are flats. Flats, uh, okay. flats We have flats in Aja. Yeah. Uh, are those like affordable? Two bedroom, yeah, two bedroom flats, affordable. affordable. 35 million naira. Oh, okay. 35 million naira, and you can spread the payment over 12 months. Wow. Yes. You know, with an initial deposit of 5 million naira, you, you own a unit. Are you serious? Yes. So uh, we, we I'm going to think about that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, you should. Then we have uh, we have flats coming up in uh, Agungi. Yeah, Agungi, very nice area in Agungi. You know, those for those people who are looking for short lit opportunities. Yeah, this flat present them that opportunity. They also have flats coming up in Ologolo here. Yeah, three bedroom flats, really going to be nice, family friendly, nice space, recreational area for kids and all yeah. that. We have a uh, luxury house, our Brown Vertex Four. Where is that coming up? They're coming up in VGC. Okay, it's going to be massive, better than what. We've Ever produced? Wow! And I'm telling you, it's Trust going to be massive. Trust me when he says that. It's <laughs> going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. No, where where anybody who's going to buy that property will break the bank to buy the property. Wow! I'm telling you, it's going to be top notch. Uh, then we have terraces coming up, yeah. four bedroom terraces. Uh, they will have semi detached. We also have mid size fully detached coming up also. Yeah. Uh, so whatever they want, you know, yeah. we have off plan for them. Yeah, you have so payment I, plans as we well. We have payment plans, and it's it's cheaper. You know, you save up to 10 to 15 million naira if you do offline. If you do offline, yeah. I mean, you everybody know. knows that. So, um, I don't know if that our deal still applies if they are coming. To ah, <laughs> you know, I care. Don't I care. be an Oliver Twist, Steve. <laughs> I care. I care about my audience. You know. So, but if they come through me, I mean, you should give them some sort of incentive. You know. Of course. Okay. So, if you guys want to buy, so we're actually going to the terraces at the back. No, semi detached. Semi detached at the back. So, any anything you see, if you want to invest in the offline project. Um, there's a contact information below. Just call and say your call, call Steve. Your, your calling from call Steve. 
All right, let's um, let, let's go there. <laughs> All right. So. Um, all right, so this is, a, this is a smaller, how many rooms here? It's a four beds. Four it's beds, It's a okay. small semi-detached, you know, for a young does family. It, does it still have a BQ? It has BQ, yes, yeah, on the okay. back. All right, this is the uh, living space? Yes, you have the guest toilet there. Okay. You have the kitchen here, you have a, uh, a room here. The guest room here. I think it's, uh, it's locked. It's locked. Okay. Um, okay, the kitchen is big. Yeah, the kitchen is big. Uh, we the kitchen tried. Is big. Are you sure the kitchen is not uh, the same size with the other one? It is. It's the same it's size. The same size. Well, what was the idea for that? Uh, the idea is we decided to maintain the same standard of kitchen, kitchen, whether it's for the fully detached or for you, the But you reduce the size of the rooms? Yeah, we reduce the size of the rooms and all that. So because this is where the magic is performed. Yeah. This is where women cook. Okay. So this is the living room upstairs. How many rooms? Okay, uh, three? No, no, this is the living room here. So you have one room here, another room here, and then the master's okay, here. Let's so let's go in here guys hope you guys like so this is more affordable for people okay the masters is big <laughs> it's sizable it's big you know yeah so you have the there's a balcony there yeah and uh you have uh, the toilets uh the shower here yeah wash and basin like you know all right, so this is uh, asking price for this is 90 million. 90 million now. Yeah, so in case you're looking for a cheaper version of the other one we saw, you can, you can still get this. A lot of people, they've seen what you've built, they even watched your other video, the 7, 7 plus 7B, they've seen your development and they're going to like be curious. Some people would want to say you got funds from the government or your politicians or not. I know what people usually say, but um, briefly, very briefly, tell us like how, how it all started for you. How, development you know how, how it all started for you the interest and all well it's, it's easy in nigeria for you to see a young man and think that probably you know the money come from somewhere yeah. our money was made here you know it started from uh, uh, agency uh, like when you uh, mean agency how yeah what, what? like running the street <laughs> looking for property so you mean listing, selling and collecting, selling commission. and collecting commissions and yeah. all that I started from there yeah you know laid back as a 2016 when i had no job you know my company had folded you had uh, no job yeah i had no job the company my the paid employment you know yeah. when, where i was working and you know, i had there you know they already got of 2015 or so yeah so it hit my the company so hard you know that they had to shut down and then we were out of job you know looking for a job and all wow. that it was at that time i forwarded into real estate you know i started uh, from the you know letting selling, selling. and then developing and then we're here <laughs> so how, how how was it like when did you decide to start selling real estate what year was that uh, it was uh, far back as uh, 2018 2018 yeah. so as, how, as how 2018, many I, I decided that i wanted to start developing and I started making moves. You started you know. 2017 selling, 2018 you already started deciding that you want to Yeah, grow. yeah. Wow, that was quite, that's very short. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, life is short, so you have to take, <laughs> okay. you have to take the opportunity once it presents itself. So I that's, took mine. Yeah. You know? And then from 2017 to now, what, the, what has been the biggest project for you since then? Uh, the Plot biggest 7B. project for me is not Pro 7 b I have an estate in Orchid. Wow. Yeah, I have an estate, a full estate in Orchid that Orchid. I did. Yeah. You know, uh, that was the biggest. You know, acquired the land and uh, and developed it. So now, currently, I wouldn't say it's the biggest because now I have this yeah. going on. And you have something I have bigger something coming. bigger going on, you know, since this same location. Yeah. I have something else going on also in, in Agungi. You should take it currently. easy on us. <laughs> you know, we have something we're starting like in a yeah. week or two yeah. also. So for me, it's no longer biggest. You yeah. know, it's like we're taking you know, the challenges as it comes and then yeah. trying to expand. We just want to do more and also to encourage other young people that yeah. you know, once you set your mind to do something, you have to pursue it until you get, it, you done. get it done. You and know. something you didn't mention in the course of, I know you told me privately, but he also builds for people. So if you have, you know, a piece of land that you are thinking of developing, you can contact him. I'll put his contact as well. You can give him a call. He's going to help you. I mean, you can look at his designs and see what he's capable of doing. So reach out i mean and guys guess what he's still under you're on your early 30s so you're doing all of this you lost your job you got the job and you're developing everything is happening like really fast for you i'm grateful to god i've <laughs> had my own share of challenges <laughs> you've had your share so yeah, no I, more challenges i, I had again. my share i had my, my i had nine to where i cried you know i had yeah. nine to where i felt like man you know giving up and all that yeah but sometimes it's not how hard you get hit is how you get back to your feet and then you just keep moving. Ah, you just have on. to keep moving. You don't drop quotes. <laughs> Go deep. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much, Steve. Thank you. <laughs>
thank you guys for watching this video to the thank very you. end. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. Uh, my name is Steven, and I'll see you soon. Peace. All right. Hey. So, uh, good.